Over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Secure the Golden Route before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. The Tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lazatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. Ah, Stuart. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, you? my lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. We will, if they do their work. Did they find a place to set up a camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Oh man, I am so excited. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first, finally first look at Gord. This is one that we've hyped up on the channel quite a bit because it is much different than more, uh, much more of the city builders that we've seen, uh, more different than them, and also, of course, has a lot of like dirty, gritty, grimy, and slimy combat, and of course, the environment too. Reminding me a little bit of like Nurgle, for example, from... Uh, course Warhammer and uh, I just I really am hyped for this game and I'm glad to be playing it building cities and settlements and commanding people and look at how different all of our little uh, I guess subjects is that what they call them is that yeah I, they all look great and I love it so anyway welcome aboard don't forget to subscribe welcome aboard to all of you thanks for hitting that join button welcome to all the new members and thanks for leaving a like well without further ado let's get going Got to find ourselves a uh, place to settle the folks down. So, uh, oh, cool. We can see the edge of the map that way, too. Nice. All right, we need to uh, find our people a uh, place to go, I think, after moving our camera around. My lord, please order our subjects to move. Yeah. We should follow our scouts' footsteps. We are not safe here. <laughs> not safe from what? All right, we need to uh, take a look at our subjects there. Oh, yeah. Profession, health, sanity, other modifiers. Okay. We can select them individually or as a group. So now we can get moving. Let's go. Well, there was really nowhere else to go, so clear that there was a road here. So we better head into town. Well, we better build a town. Ah, uh, look at the rain. I love it. It's so wet and cold. 
it's really on par with Frostpunk with how the environment looks and makes you feel. I Look at that wind whipping, too. It certainly does feel like there's a storm around. A very violent one, indeed. All right. Now, I believe we can also rename all of our people, too. And I think we can take a look at their stats and whatnot, as they mentioned. I think there might be a way to see Wretched more on them. Wolves. Those are the bodies of our scouts. Oh, no. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us. All right. There's information on our mini-map, which has all sorts of different icons on it. We have the census view for additional tactical information. And we also, I believe, have the ability to rename our people and just like they showed there, see a little bit more stats on them. Cool. All right, first goal, reach the pond. Well, I guess our scouts are dead, so we better go to the city without them. Or I guess the future construction site. Oh, what do we have here? Oh dear. It's deer. Oh, pretty. A roebuck. Nice. And what are these? Mushrooms or flowers? Uh-oh, combat. Enemies have multiple attacks, special attacks, and buffs. Oh, no. Oh, I can hear wolves. Yep. Take him down, everybody. Wow, look at that. They knocked one of our villagers down. That was cool. Nice job, villagers. Anything we could do to... Uh, oh, look at that. They just kind of fly off. I was going to try to actually maybe get meat from them or pelts. But not this time. Oh, look at that. Each of our people have uh, different modifiers. They're not just, you know, generic village builders. They're actually uh, Sir, workers with their own the stats. Our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. I love that gourd is we have access to water, our city. Reeds and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. Oh, hell yeah. A defensive city builder. Let's go. All right, we have uh, resources like wood, reed, food, clay, iron, and gold. We also have the growth of the gourd, our sanity, and faith. All right. Basic upkeep is food. Makes sense. Gold required by the military makes sense. Clay and iron used for upgrading structures also makes sense. And a lot of our building menus at the bottom. First, let's go ahead and go into the construction menu. Population. Incantation. And the building process itself. Oh, dude, look at that. That's really nice. Oh, I like that. I'm excited. Okay, let's go ahead and get uh, cracking then. So, go ahead and build that palisade. And we can build it anywhere we want. Oh, that's really cool. So it starts out kind of as a circle with a gate, but we can rotate it and modify it however we want. So if we want to make it a little bit more extendo, we can. Just like this. wonder if it'll change the uh, number of materials that we need. I kind of want to build this a little bit more like a... Can we add more points? I'd love to do that. I'm not going to go too far into this, but I just want to see some of the options here. We can also reposition the gate. Good idea to build a gate here, for example. There we go. Looks like there's some stuff knocked down there. I'd like to do a perfect circle this time, or next time, but this time I want to kind of just goof around and see what's possible with building a camp that looks a little bit like that. Oh, does it? Oh, it does adjust the wood cost. So it was 155 before. So as we modify things, it will cost us more or less. Uh, I'm gonna go for a little bit more space. So let's just try to build it a little larger. Initial grid cannot be too large, or lar the gourd size cannot be too large. All right, let's go with that. Oh, boy. And, of course, the name of our gourd is going to be the one, the only. Spam it down below in the comment sections, ladies and gentlemen. Glory to Raptoria. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Now, I like this because, again, you have all seen many times on the channel before Dawn of Man, which is the, you know, quote-unquote caveman city builder where of course humans are getting started building their first civilizations and a palisade is one of those steps in that game where it's a huge step to gather all those materials and this one's no problem at all look at all the lighting uh, the palisade will keep us safe 
Now, we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. I absolutely love this. I hope we can modify the gourd as well, or at least the palisade. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. Absolutely. <sighs> a lumber mill does sound useful. Fine then, but be quick about it, steward. All right, let's go. New buildings for construction, a lumber mill. Let's build it. Oh, look at that perfect fit right over here in the corner. Wait a minute, did they already kind of build some structures inside? Looks like there's a little fence here and a kind of a tree stump cut down. That's awesome. Oh, uh, look at how smooth that is. Nice. All right, build that like that. Cool. Building looks real nice. And I love the torches all around the inside of the palisade. This was built within seconds and not being too tedious. I love that. And the gate right there leading out further towards the swamps. And the deer, too. Can we uh, cut down some trees? Ah, time to start with some professions. Professions determines what adult, uh, what adults can and can't do. And of course. Wrong profession. Ah, yeah, okay. Do we have guards? Or we have the ability to guard, I see. So some might be better at logging. And so we can change that this way, okay. Maybe we can make some people town guards. Ooh, water cane into reed, yes. Also, it looks like it'll tell you how many of those buildings you have, just in case you've forgotten. That's cool. Since it does say, uh, first such building in the gourd. We have advanced, we have military special and carvings. We have the ability to build a military. We might be able to build more defenses. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Oh man, look at the construction. <laughs> Dude. And look at that pond over there. Hey, nice, ready to go. All right, gather some reeds. So we've got five people here. Three on the logging camp and two on the thatchery. Love the look of the buildings. Wow, they actually go inside. There's an animation for them pushing the kind of the cloth away as they move in. That's great. Let's watch the animations on gathering all the reeds. They got little knives out. Man, that's cool. All right, let's speed things up a little bit. Just need to wait until they get a chance to gather some reeds. Looks like we can filter enemy units, points of interest, treasures, friendly subjects, structures, Horrors and filter resources, too. Oh, they're cutting down a tree in the gourd. Man, look at that. Three people working that tree. Damn. Looks like resources might be finite, but perhaps they could regrow. Like, for example, the trees. It does look like there's a, a tree stump remaining, but it's possible that these trees might regrow. There we go. Reeds are coming in. Oh, wow, that takes a long time. You people are used to starvation, but I am not. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Jeez, it's not Uber Eats, Karen. Sire, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. You got it. 
Uh, subjects need to eat. Hungry people lose sanity quickly. Food can be obtained by certain professions through trading or found by exploring the level. Okay. Now, of course, this game does have uh, a little bit of a, well, campaign or chapters or scenarios that are all part of a story-based mission. I'm not sure if there's going to be a free build mode upon release in August. August, I think it's 6th. So on August 6th, 2023, Gord will release. Again, this is a demo that's available now for the Steam Next Fest. So if you haven't uh, grabbed it already or played it, um, after watching this video, you should definitely check it out and uh, add it to your wish list as well, as this one seems to have a lot of care in it in terms of being a very creepy and weird and different city builder in many ways that Frostpunk felt when it first dropped, when nobody really knew what it was like or what it would be like. We've run out of storage space for our wood. We need to build or upgrade a storehouse. All right, let's do that. Let's build a forger's house now. All right, we're going to need to get some people on that. Let's build a forger's hut. Probably be a little easier if we built a pizza hut if we're looking for food. Or a Domino's. Let's go that way. Perfect. Alright. Can we assign anybody to building instead? Yes, let's assign somebody to building now. A couple of people will put their current jobs on hold to assist. So since we have tons of wood, let's go ahead and put that on hold. And we got plenty of food, although they said we were low. It will run out eventually, but we're okay. We got plenty of wood, though. I bet someone already spotted us or something. Oh, boy. American cultures too. It'd be really great to see all different types of structures, building techniques, and kind of just stories based on maybe even fictitious or more mysticism would be really cool. I'd like that. What's you doing there, pal? Oh, it's uh, completely full. Completely. Well, let's go ahead and get you on. What do we need more of? Let's go for food then. You can go ahead and put that on hold. Sire. Thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. Huh. Insubordinates like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. My lord. We don't have wine here, but we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Uh-oh. Mushrooms? Mead, you say? Mm, that doesn't sound too bad. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the palisade, but I would recommend to build both a meadery and scout's tower. Wow. Yes, yes. But let's start with the meadery, shall we? Mmm, mead. Let's do it. Sanity level 3, anxious. New structures available for construction. Sanity recovery. To recover sanity and avoid experiencing mental afflictions, try using yellow herbs or meadery. You got it. Now oh, we have a storehouse unlocked too. There's our meadery. Well, let's put that somewhere near the center of the camp. Eh, maybe around here. Oh, that's cool. It actually shows a door on one side where people will be coming and going from, so that's helpful for layout. Nice. And what do we need for the storehouse? Ah, uh, unlocked with growth, so we just need to be a little bit bigger. All right. Let's have one person work on that construction and work there. We'll still need reeds.
And we'll still need lots of food, so let's make sure we keep doing that. And it's just a constant rainstorm. It really reminds me a lot of Against the Storm. Really, really reminds me of that. Another great city builder where, of course, you're exploring and uh, building into glades in order to then unlock more resources and things like that. It's got a lot of that vibe, too. Let's go ahead and assign you there, sir. All right, Torchlight allows you to spot enemies in the eternal darkness. Also prevents your subjects from losing sanity. So now we need to build a Torchlight via a scout's tower. Can that be outside? Now we'll put that near the gate. We'll face it that way. A beacon, like a lighthouse or something like that. Not bad. All right. Let's build a tower. And we'll gather more wood in a minute. We really need some more people. We almost have too many jobs and not enough people, but we need to get growth going. There we go. Wait, this guy's just sitting here drinking. You're not working, pal. Uh, he must be the uh, taste tester. I love all the different information you can see about people. What they're working on, what they're doing. A little more information about them, too. As I had mentioned before, you can kind of see their positive modifiers. Good and bad about them. Alright, you're our scout now. Yes, of course, my lord. Our balia is constructed in a way not only to provide hot water, but also make the best use of our healing herbs to regenerate people's health. Huh. Heard that, steward? Order them to build it right away. You got it. Health regeneration. All right, time to build a balia. There it is. Man, all these buildings look so damn cool. Oh, a Balia is basically a hot tub. <laughs> cool. Maybe Geralt will drop by. Geralt of uh, Rivia? I don't know if you've ever heard of him. A good friend. Well, hot tubs and mead, not too bad after all. I love how the buildings kind of snap together a little bit like a grid, but it also feels like free placement at the same time. Really nice. All right. Let's get one person off of food. And get you to build the Balia. Looks like we have enough food. Let's go for more building materials again. And perhaps the Balia might need fuel. All right, you two chill for a little bit. All right, let's get those wounds healed. Food's looking all right. And let's go. Close enough. All right, everybody. Let's get that legendary wolf. They've been harassing everybody in this area for too long. Let's deal with them. Get him. Nice job, everybody. Wow, look at how bloody everyone is. Oh, there's more. Wow, look at that. He actually got knocked down to the ground and was being attacked. That's crazy. This there better not be any damn bears out prison. here. No bears. What 
he blabbering on about? I can't understand a word. He claims he was attacked by the wild folk. People of the forest. But they have never attacked us before. Unless they were provoked. Clearly they had a change of heart. He says they're walking towards the Votenga River. West of here. I fear that they may raid our gourd. Uh, our cartographer was supposed to be west of here as well. We cannot lose him. Let's move. No. All right, success. Move on to the next mission. Hell yeah, let's proceed. Heading west. The wild folk used to live like wild animals, and although they can be violent, conquest was one of the many human things they despised. Nonetheless, they became more aggressive recently and attacked the tribe of the Dawn's Gourd. I wonder if they are doing this to praise Velus. Ooh, before the start of every scenario, you get a chance to uh, get to know your subject, bios, strengths, weaknesses, experience levels, items, etc. Damn, these aren't just regular villagers. <laughs> like I said before, there's actually much more to learn and to do with them and upgrade. And yeah, we could actually get a group experience. Wow, that's actually really cool. I'm glad that it's not just uh, hero units. And I'm glad that it's not like, you know, in Age of Empires or whatnot, you build villagers to just do all the work. Uh, but then eventually those, uh, you know, villagers can go to build a barracks and then those barracks can train troops from houses that are built. But in this case, these guys can do it all. Except for this guy who's very lazy. <laughs> Negative 20 sp speed of building. Oh, well. Well, you can't win them all, you know. And we can also rename them, too, at the start of each mission if we want to. Wow, we can give them items? We might be able to give them weapons or... Yeah, this guy's a better scout, so he'd be good for just going out into the field. But kind of cool. We can choose our group so we can bring more people with us. So if we want to, we could bring uh, other people based on how skilled they are. All right, let's go ahead and bring some more people. My lords, the wild folk, they've attacked our gourd. Hurry now, or there will be nothing left of our home. To arms! Enemies have breached our defenses. Oh, we're under attack. Breached. If a palisade section gets destroyed or if an enemy gets inside, the gourd is considered breached. While this lasts, your subjects will focus on fighting enemies and won't be able to use any structures. Oh boy. Whenever a breach happens, automatically put on pause. Note that you're still able to issue orders during a pause. Take advantage of that. Press play to resume whenever you're ready. Wow, okay. So... This is a different gourd that's been breached. Let's get him, boys. Who the hell are these guys? People of the forest? <laughs> Dear God, so much destruction. Those savages dare to destroy our king's property? Sire, this is unusual. The wild folk are not our allies, but they were never desperate enough to raid a fortified gourd. Something's changed. That doesn't matter, you old fool. They will pay for their insolence. Damn right they will. Of course, sire. But now we need to focus on salvaging whatever's left of our structures. We can repair the damage and clean up the rubble and reuse whatever we can. Structure, damage, and repairs. Ah, yes. We can repair and rebuild for sure. All right, let's get to it, people. Oh, wow. What else has been destroyed? Couple of buildings there. Okay, let's start with the wall. Can we get uh, just one person or two? All right, let's repair that wall. 
Oh uh, yeah, you do the work and you supervise. Perfect construction. Most realistic game of the year. Alright, now we can rebuild. Let's see, you go ahead and fix that one up, fix this one up, do that over there. Rebuild the structure in the middle. Looks like we got three out of three cutting wood, but I don't see anybody. Not yet, anyway. Alright, we moved that out of the way. So we're also deleting debris or like, uh, I guess, like rubble. Repair the thatchery, forger's hut, and scout tower. Doing well. Okay, let's get you on forging. Or, well, thatchery. There's our forger there. And we'll need a scout, too. And the scout tower is almost done. Yeah, they're already foraging those tasty mushrooms. The Mushroom Kingdom. Our defenses are up, but we should equip our subjects with proper weapons to better prepare for what awaits us outside of our walls. Let us build our first military structure. Hell yeah. Military cost. Oh yeah. We're going to have to uh, pay for the buildings to be constructed and the upkeep of the troops. In both materials and in money. Build an axe pit. Oh, we can see more buildings. Wolf carving, spider carving. Additional gates. Axe pit, archery range. Uh, the bolia and the metery. And then all the things that we saw before, including a fishing shack, hunter's den, and the storehouse we saw before. Well, let's build an axe pit. We'll put that towards the middle. We'll get two axe throwers going. I think they're axe throwers. Oh, damn. Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. All right, watch for traps. Oh, we're near a torch. Uh-oh. He's in a cage. Well, those are not axe throwers, but they're oh, they're tossing those blades. Go! Nice. Good job, team. Hey, what's that? No, that's gotta be a trap, right? Items can be found in many places: chest skeletons, loose stones. One subject can carry up to three items. They can be extremely useful in combination with the subject's strength and experience level. You know what this kind of reminds me of is each of these uh, characters or subjects is almost like a ship in Anno 1800 where they're all kind of a basic hulk or husk, but as you add more things to them, then that's what makes them more powerful. So if somebody becomes better with ranged weapons and you make them an archer, that's the best thing to do for the military. I don't think he's doing too good. Bolton, keep your people in line. Why did he flee? The poor soul already suffered so much. 
seeing a body mutilated in such a vicious manner. You would think that living here made us indifferent to such views. But it always takes a toll. Your barbarian minds are weak. And this corpse belongs to yet another of your scouts? N no. Sire. Judging from the robe, I believe this is the cartographer you were searching for. Cursed lands! Ah! Forget him! We need his maps! Search the hut! Search this cage! Search everything! That guy's nice. No, not really. Afflictions! Uh oh. The subject's health drops to zero, they'll experience a physical affliction that can be handled or healed by a hermit. If sanity drops to zero, uh, they can be healed by a witch. Ooh. Sire, we have found the cartographer's notes in his hut. Does it say where to cross the river? I believe it does, my lord. But the marked route requires crossing the nearby swamps. It's a very difficult and dangerous area. You dare to question the expertise of a royal cartographer? If he marked it, that's where we're going. Follow the plan, steward. We've wasted enough time. Ooh, we can build new stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, reach the marked location. Oh, boy. Maybe we should put some more people on military duty. Yeah, duty. Okay, let's do this. Uh, who's doing what? We got people gathering reeds. And we'll add somebody to our military team. And maybe an archery range. Ah, but we have to get a little bit more logs. Just a little bit more. And we got to go through all these swamps, so that's going to be dangerous as hell. There's already uh, been tons of wolves and stuff. Ugh. I don't want I don't, I don't to know what's out in those swamps. Alright, let's get our military team together. Bringing in lots of food. Get a little bit more on the wood side. There we go. Archery range. Oh, gourd statistics, too. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more to be able to check. There it is. Structures, sanity, resources. Oh, no, you don't. Come here. Let's see. Let's plop that down. Here. Not sure who's gonna build, but we'll see. Now ah, there we go. A little quick load. Now I can do stuff again. Uh oh, what was that? Ooh, damn, dude, hell of a lot of wolves, bro. We got knocked down. Wow, that's a huge attack. Back inside. Our brother has been injured. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we got to do more military stuff. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Need more wood to build that healing station. how some of the people in the military can build. We're going to need a big force. Mm -hmm. Alright, three out of three. Wait, is that a kid? What the hell are you doing here, kid? That was weird. All right, don't worry. The lumberjack will watch over you. I wonder if he's a samurai, too. All right, so three axemen and two archers. Oh, boy. As soon as we get 250 wood, we'll make that balia. everywhere. Oh god, no. Now spiders? Incantations. Whispers can use powerful spells called incantations, which vary in nature. Oh, okay. Fracture it is. Oh, there we go. This Damn, is she in Mortal Kombat 1? You saved me. Damn. Those savages got what they deserved. Is it actually sunny out? Weird. They attacked our god and killed our people. But you, you are not from around here. I am not. I've been a traveler since my village got destroyed. People call me Lynx. I am Edwin, an emissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It seems we share common enemies. What was that thing you just did to these savages? Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? And who are you, old man? I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Dabo. Dabo? The defeated god of the sun. 
Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough to recognize forbidden magic when I see it. Helping you is a mistake. Hold on, old man. Undeniably, our new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we join forces and welcome her into our settlement. I wouldn't mind a hot bath. But, sir... You yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive, couldn't we? Uh, yes, sire. Very well, then. Let us carry on through those swamps and across the river. There is supposed to be a very nice settlement there. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. We're following the map drawn by the royal cartographer. What is the matter? Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drained my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Mm. Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. And believe me, you will find my powers useful in those swamps ahead. <clears throat> yes. I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our subjects, is of utmost importance. Let's build this temple of yours first. No one is to enter the swamps before that. Uh, may the gods protect us. I can take care of that, Elder. You just have some faith. Oh yeah, we got some faith, all right. We're gonna build faith. Build a damn temple, let's go. It'll allow us to use incantations, okay. That cutscene must have taken place when a lightning strike just happened. Okay, well, let's get everybody back then. Some people are gonna have to switch from military to praying. Oh, well, they are archers. They were pretty good, though. The archers were pretty darn good. All right, so... Carvings? Ah, temple. We'll need 100 reed. But also, we want to heal our people, too. So let's get them at all back. Damn boars. We gotta switch to materials and whatnot. Get some food going. Oh, that thatchery is so far away from the pond. Hey, kid. He's too young to work, I guess. Go play Fortnite. Yeah, never mind. Work would probably be less dangerous. All right, well, let's start with that temple first. We need a hundred reed. Oh, the kid can help. Can he? Nah, he just hangs out and assists. All right, he's just supervising. Yeah, go play on some rocks or something, I don't know. Alright, we should have enough now to build the temple. Oh, that's a big build. Ooh, that's a big building. Alright, let's forget the reeds. I would like to get a big boost of food before we leave the camp. But it looks like they pretty much healed up too. All right, we'll leave the Balia as a uh, backup. All 
I think we're ready to go. Let's get everybody trained up again. Okay, so now we got three axemen and we should have three archers. Citizens' morale has risen. Good. Mm. All right, let's get to the new location. A long way to go. We've got three axemen, three archers, and a kid. Who apparently is on mushroom harvesting but he's studying it he's studying it in university what the hell was that noise what the hell is that thing increase the speed of game gaining experience that's not going to benefit us too much in a demo But good for the long run when characters that can skill up in a previous uh, scenario can get an even higher skill. Whoa, what the hell is that? Ardivin? the hell? Plus 50 attack if it's raining. Uh, when is it not raining? Our brother awaits your commands. Do you even know what's ahead of us? Hell no, I don't know what that is. Is that Jabba on meth? A river crossing? Yes. Which is also a horror's lair. It's known as Arduin. And it won't let you pass without a sacrifice. Sacrifice? We will wipe this monster from the face of the earth! Killing a horror is not an easy task, sire. No one has attempted such a feat in years. We would need a great deal of experienced warriors to have a fighting chance. Oh, we don't we don't stand a chance then. It's much more than a monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Velus could stitch together in the underworld. My magic has no effect on it. If you don't want to die. Just comply with whatever it asks you for. Or try a different path. Uh, wh what? The only path is war or negotiation. I don't want to hear about a different route. We'll follow the plan and give this creature whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. It's the steward's decision. Well, our magic won't even work, so... Horrors are powerful magical creatures guarding the wildlands. Eventually, every tribe has to either face the horrors, plagues, or satisfy their demands. Fighting them is extremely difficult. Oh, wow. And there they are right there. There's like a giant stag, a, almost like a crocodile. And yeah, Arduin, as they mentioned. Great. Oh, boy. Meeting the horror. God, look at him. Even Lynx's warning did not prepare you for what... You see emerging from the bog, a rotten, deformed monstrosity with a grimacing face that mocks humanity. He slowly raises his blistered hand and points at you. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. <laughs> a gurgling voice erupts in your mind. Feed me young flesh. Young flesh? Sacrifice a child to Arduin. Accept the channel, a challenge at, uh, attack or decide later. Well, we really don't have a choice. Feed him the child. All right, kid. Come on over. Right, we better escort that kid all the way. Actually, hold on. There could be wolves and stuff out there. Let's escort uh, Stugabor. Wait, you're not young. 
the hell? Aren't you like in your teens? We ran out of gold. We cannot afford to maintain our military. Well, we're going to have to for a little bit. Now let's have the kid meet us halfway. All right, double time it, kid. Go. All right, but you're going to be lunch. Is that a child? There we go. Oh, this guy's too old. Damn it. Let's have everybody go back and grab some food. Hopefully the kid makes it. I guess they spawned a new kid. This one got old. New kid on the block. There we go. Imagine fighting him. lost what is that Help me. get ready to fight I don't understand it either, but we should leave immediately. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. <gasps> Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully. Success! Oh, we can't proceed any further. That means it's the end of the demo, everybody. All right, well, thank you very much for watching the Gord demo. You can download this today on Steam. Uh, it probably might expire by the 26th of uh, June, but maybe this demo will be around until its release on August 6th. The Steam Next event is a great opportunity to download and try out a ton of games, and if you've seen a lot of them on the channel that you like, make sure you go ahead and add them to your wish list and try a demo before you buy if you're in the market to buy a new game and are here just to... Uh, you know, see what it's all about. But anyway, thanks again for becoming members and smashing that join button. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Thanks for very much for turning on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>